thank you. Uh, it feels great. Um, yeah. Yeah, it feels great. 29 seconds. Uh, did you ever imagine it could be? Uh, obviously, you've got so much experience as a former UFC champion. Did you think that this fight would be over so quickly? Uh, no. But we, we, pre -well, we were well prepared, trained for everything. So anything he wanted to come with, and he do exactly what I think he's going to do. Play around, throw the right hand, boom, put the jab inside, and right hand again, put the left hook, and he's down. So, and, and you spoke a little bit about Dana White's speech in the back and how it motivated you. What, what was it that he said that really got you uh, motivated? Uh, I'm not going to say what he said, but he said a lot of things, and that did something to me. And I woke up with that mindset. Uh, I go in the octagon with that mindset. And I think that helped me to get this win and so fast. Did you ever expect that a speech like that would motivate you so much uh, going into a fight, especially with Dana White of all people? No, I think it's uh, Dana White by himself. I'm watching the UFC for a long time now, and I, it's the first time I saw Dana White. And yeah, there was a moment for me to see him, to listen to what he said, and that he was give, giving me that speech. I feel like it's for me because it did something to me. So that when he when he, he spoke that those words, it did something to me, and I took it. I go sleep with it. I woke up with it. I go in the octagon with it, and yeah. What does it mean for you to be the first uh, fighter from Suriname to fight, and not, not only fight but win so su successfully in the UFC? Uh, it means a lot to me and my team, and also the people in Suriname. Um, yeah, I think I'm the first one who break it so far from home. We are the smallest country of South America, and now we're in this Med Medicine Square Garden. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's crazy. It's everything that isn't good, but we made it here. And yeah, for me, I don't know. I'm kind of living a movie, and uh, I just living the dream. <laughs> you mentioned that you used to watch UFC on TV when you were younger, and like I said, now you're here in Madison Square Garden. You just knocked out a former UFC champion. Did you ever think that you would, you know, climb the ranks as quickly as you did? Ah, uh, no. Uh, don't. I never ever had those thoughts, and yeah, now I'm here, and I just let everything come over, and I just go on with it, so till so far I can. I lost. You made some negative comments about you before the fight. Did that make the win out that much sweeter? Uh, yes and no. You know why? Um, I think uh, he was trying to get in my head, and he's a former champion. I'm growing up watching Andre Arlovski. And I think he's a great guy. So when he said those things, I was like, okay, he let your guard down. But yeah, I still like him. <laughs> Sorry, do you want to fight next after this win? This is a huge win uh, for former champion. Nah, I don't know uh, if the UFC think I can fight so, uh, anybody. So I mean, that be soon? I mean, it didn't seem like you broke a sweat tonight. Other than, you know, I can't be soon. Or... I'm ready to go again. So Would, would, how, how would you be I... interested in uh, fighting Alistair over now that he doesn't yeah. have an opponent? Oh, it would be nice. So if uh, the fight's still open, you got to come beat it. That's enough time for you to train and for him? For sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> how far do you think you can, uh, or how long do you think it's going to take you to get right up there in the division? Uh, I don't know. I think as uh, quickly as possible. I turn hard. I think I deserve this. I'm here to reset the division again. And yeah. How was this week for you, just being in New York on this huge card and you know fighting at Madison Square Garden, very historic? Uh, how did how did it compare to you know other fights in your career? Uh, I think I don't know when I'm gonna fight here again, if it's possible to fight here again. Uh, but for now, it feels good, it feels great. Uh, I never ever gonna forget this moment that I stand in this arena, and yeah, it was awesome. Two questions here. Uh, first. Congratulations on a quick knockout. Is there any part of you that wished the fight went a little bit longer so you could get some more experience and use more of what you've been working on in training? Thank you. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I always train hard. I uh, always try to uh, finish fast. And it's a kind of um, defeat myself. So um, first one was nine seconds. Uh, the last one was nine seconds. And now how quick is this going to be? It's going to be fast, it's going to be longer. OK, I don't know. OK, let's go. And then you go in there, you do your fight. And the knockout come by himself. That's today. And uh, what's the biggest thing that you want to keep working on when you get back into the gym? Right now, everything. Uh, I think I have to be a little bit faster. 
then uh, maybe I get the four second knockout. <laughs> is, is there pressure that comes with getting such quick knockouts where people almost expect you to finish fights so quickly? Uh, sometimes. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Um, and at the moment, I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. Uh, you're here for another thing, even if you're going to fight uh, two rounds of five minutes, this is what you're here for. So. Is there a store behind this crystal around your neck? Uh, no, it's nice and uh, I like it. Uh, a friend of mine make it for me, so I keep wearing it. You think it's good luck after what happened tonight? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, it's crystal clear, the crystal, so it brings luck, I think, yeah. Sure.